Hello. Have you already gone live? Oh, wow. So prepared. Okay, show me a really funny picture of Nils. Okay. No hear. They can't hear you. <laughs> so that should okay, work. There you there go. go. There you go. All right. Let me see. Look at stream chat. Images. That's funny. Why is he? <laughs> Why is he doing that? He would like run over to the um, like. <laughs> He's in the elevator. He likes mm -hmm. to put... That's how he lays in the elevator. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Just face fucking down. He loves elevators. <laughs> he he like... loves them. Yeah, he would like run over and he'd like hit the button and then he'd just flop down like that. <laughs> so he can like feel it on his face. So, have you considered digging straight into the ground and installing an elevator in your home? You know, the sky's the limit with this kid. I'll do anything for him. <laughs> Why don't you just do up... A... He never sleeps in his room. Why don't you just do up his room like an ele... exactly like an elevator? Oh, my God. Well, I just put a new chair in his room. I haven't taken a picture of the chair in there yet, but mm -hmm. uh, this is the chair it's we very, got today green. yeah it's old it is old the i really like it because i was looking for something that nils could hang out in better in his room i it's like crocs <laughs> oh he loves those <laughs> <laughs> big croc fan this kid yeah most autistic people are is what i'm finding are they okay oh yeah 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 a lot of my like friends kids um and then, like, adults I know with autism are like, oh, oh I love Crocs. I mean, uh, you could just slip them on, so. And they're really comfortable. Um, I've never worn them. You probably love them. Probably. <laughs> 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 probably. I'll start wearing them to work. My new job. That'll you, look really good. Yeah, I'm sure they'd really like it. Yeah. The inverse space needle. The earth needle. Well, I hate yeah, Crocs. I there you go. straight into the ground. Oh. Merm failed the autistic test. No, Merm, see, it gets canceled out by the fact that every story about Nils, you're like, I did that as a kid. <laughs> like, Merm. So wait, it cancels it wait, out. Wait, 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 wait. I just saw the Yeti preview. <laughs> Don't boil your crocs. What's the Yeti preview? Guys. <laughs> It's it's a Columbo shirt. A Columbo shirt. <laughs> yeah, it's a Columbo shirt. Just for you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm buying that for sure. Oh, what is it with Columbo? That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Merm. <laughs> I didn't, uh, um, I didn't, uh. <laughs> Clumbo and dog. I love Clumbo and dog. Um. What was I going to tell you? <laughs> Shit, before the Clumbo thing happened. <laughs> it was something about today. Damn. Oh, it was about the chair. Um, when I went to pick it up, like literally Nels and I, he, he chose Value Village today over everything else. I was like, where do you want to yeah. go? Um, so we didn't go to Best Buy in case getting a little bit bored. I was just mm -hmm. understandable. I've been going every week for like mm -hmm. a year. Um, but he's, he, oh my God, he was vibing so hard at Valville today looking at laptops and he was really excited because we found one that actually turned on. 
and he was like jumping and freaking out and but then it was like no hard drive no operating system but it was like in pretty good condition and then this like older guy who was very clearly a computer guy like swooped over and I was like oh yeah you can take that I was like we're just playing with it (laughs) (laughs) it was like only $13 though but um uh when I went back to get the chair the guy was like helping me with it and he was like I didn't think nobody thought this would sell at all (laughs) I was like (laughs) he's like I'm really surprised I was like oh Oh, see, this is exactly my terrible style. (laughs) Old lady chair. It was, like, in really good condition. I wanted something that Nils could, like, he has his bed he can sit on, and he has his, like, stretchy sensory swing, but I wanted him to have, like, a chair he could hang out in in his room, like a little armchair he could play video games or, you know, so... It's a little bigger in his room than I anticipated. It took away a little bit of his floor space, but it's fine. It was only twenty dollars, so the steal of a deal. And then tomorrow we're gonna go to the fair, and he's very excited. The fair? Mm-hmm. There's like a thing, something called like the fun fair. <laughs> very creatively named. Um, this I, guy's I don't... never heard of the fun fair. The fun fair. Wait, is that's, there... some, that's a thing. It's People a thing. It's a fun fair. It's like a cir- like a circus kind of. Oh, I don't know. No, like a like a. No, maybe not. A fun fair is a thing. Oh, I believe you. Um, we're gonna go to a car show tomorrow, though. I was gonna tell you. Fuck you. Yeah, <laughs> come with us. <laughs> yeah, I'll be right over. Yeah, well, we could have gone to the fun fair today, but I saw that tomorrow had a car show, and so I was like. Uh, and I was like, Nils, do you want to go to the car show? And he's like, but fun fair. And I was like, no, the car show's at the fun fair. And he was like, no, fun fair. And I was like, I <laughs> just, oh, d- never mind. Let's just go. He doesn't give You'll a see. shit about cars. He does like going to car shows. Um, does he? Yeah, all day long he wanted to get out of uh, the house so he could go sit in the cars. His new thing is a little bit concerning. Um, Uh-oh. Not only has he learned to unbuckle himself in the back of the car, oh, no. and I found this out because I was driving, luckily, in my neighborhood when he did this, and he just launches mm-hmm. into the front seat, and I was like, ah! <laughs> and I was like, no! No! <laughs> and like, so that's the thing, it's and then, good. I know, I gave him some sharp words, and he hasn't done it since, um, and then... His other thing he's been doing is he really likes to be in the... Okay, so he has this thing. It's become a routine that anytime we get out of the car, even when he's upset, even when it's raining, even whatever, he... I turn off the car, I come around to help him get out, and he launches himself into the front seat with the car off and turns every knob, touches every dial. Yes, you've told me about his knob thing, yeah. So that's been his thing. He goes, blast my ears. And then he gets out of the car. Now, it's not must enough. must have learned blast my ears from fucking dang <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yup. And then now it's he wants to get in the car in the front seat and play with everything from there. And I have begun to draw the line. <laughs> I was like, you're not going to hang out in the front seat and like... I let him do it one time, and he was, like, pushing his foot on the gas, trying to start the car, like, turned all my windshield wipers on, was, like, trying to get the the um, gear shift going. I was like, okay, that's about, I think we're about done with that. Get him a car. <laughs> yeah? Get him a, that's, yeah. that's a good idea. I think he's ready. Get him a shitty car, park it in the backyard where the cell <laughs> used to reside. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And, and just, uh... Just let him sit in it. What are cashies? Cashies. That's where Dank Pods goes in Australia to get all of his shitty stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah he would cashies, like that. Yeah. It's like Goodwill. Yeah, Yeah, he would like that. All the all the gross techie stuff. He... I have a Dorito. Is it a tiny Dorito? No. <laughs> it's full size. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm sleepy. <laughs> How was your day, Ryan? What did you do today, Mr. T- 
taking the was four day weekend, five day weekend. Yeah, four days. Um, I went to that asparagus festival thing. Oh, that's right. How was it? With my dad. It was good. Um, uh, it it started to rain a bit, but that was fine. Um, we went there. We got our pulled pork. Whoa. We, uh, what the hell whoa. was that? Oh. What was what? What was that sound? Oh, my alien box fell off the wall. Sorry, continue. No. Um, yeah, we got pulled pork. We bought flowers. And, uh, went home. Why didn't your mom come with you? Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Did you I ask know. her? Yeah. And she's course. like, nah. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Did it smell like asparagus? Did it smell like asparagus? I feel like it should um, because it's the asparagus festival. I don't really know what asparagus smells like, to be honest. Mm. Smell like pulled pork. I'll tell you that much. I love pulled pork. Yeah, it's great. Did you guys make sandwiches? Did did we make sandwiches? With the pulled pork. No, no, no. We bought pulled pork sandwiches. You bought pulled pork. Oh, I thought you like bought a bunch of pulled pork like in a like No, no, no. There's like a vendor or something. No, no, no. We we um we have a pulled pork guy and he has a trailer and he goes to um events around us. Mm. So whenever he's at a local event, we like to go and <laughs> give him the business. Well, if that's just silly. What did Rolf say? Make sandwiches with the pulled pork sandwiches. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, um, it's like Uno's Chicago, uh, bar and grill around here. They used to have a, uh, cheeseburger. They used to have a, ch uh, no, they used to have a grilled cheese cheeseburger. And the, the buns were grilled cheese. <laughs> Buns were grilled cheese. So imagine cheese? grilled cheese, if you will. Imagine grilled cheese, if you will. Imagine your head of grilled cheese, if you will. You know. Yeah. Yeah. The bread, the cheese. Yeah. Burger in the middle of two of them. That's disgusting. No, it was really good. What do you mean it's disgusting? It's too much. No, it was good. That'd make my tummy hurt. It was good. I miss it. Like they, they stopped selling it. Yeah, they probably give someone a heart attack on the spot. It <laughs> the liability that sandwich. It was good. It was tasty. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I liked it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm gonna get this game. I, where is everyone tonight? Brit's sick. Brit. He's too oxygen depressed. <sighs> what is happening to our family? <laughs> Normal. <laughs> this is what we've been like the whole time, okay? Nothing is different. I suppose you're right. I'm gonna it's look just, at it's, it's, it's all good. happening at once, so it sucks. Yeah, it's not normally everyone at once. I'm gonna look at this. Um Oh wait, I'm looking at this uh my discovery queue. Uh Crypt Master? Say anything in this bizarre dungeon adventure where words control everything. Yes. Uh, Wayne Radio TV has been playing that. I haven't seen him play it, but uh, it looks pretty cool. Interesting. It's kind of like a, demo. um, it's kind of like Typing of the Dead a bit. Oh, I love typing games. Yeah. I, uh... um, I'm sending a picture of the, the grilled cheeseburger. Let me see this. Oh my goodness. Okay, I can see how that yeah. is a little less horrifying than it sounded in my head. Yeah, no, it, did, it wasn't, like, disgusting or anything. It it's good. just I picture, che like, grilled cheeses as bigger, and then I think no, of the, no, no. yeah. I posted a picture in the stream chat for anyone who wants to see. It was good. What's this Crow Country? Survival horror, overwhelmingly positive review. The year is 1990. It's like in the 
the style is like Final Fantasy 7 looking. Like the sprites. Crow, Crow Country. Exploration, Crow Country? survival, horror, third person shooter. I'm Similar Ellie. to oh, games. Yeah, you did a choir. Control and Soma. Really? I mean. Two, two pretty good games. I want to put the demo. I got to play these demos. I have a. My wish list has still has a few games that haven't come out yet, but one of them actually did come out very recently. It's called Mullet Mad Jack. I played the demo for that. Did you? Mm-hmm. It looks awesome, and it's out now. And it's overwhelmingly positive reviews, so. Yeah, it, it's fun. It's like a... I mean, I wouldn't play... It's not like my kind of game, but I could see why people really like it. It's like really fast, and it's like kind of like a time trial. Like you go as fast as you can through each level, and like you level up. And I think it's rope. It might be roguelike. I can't remember for sure. Um, but it's got like a lot of humor, and the style's really cool. It's just too fast for me. It's like, <laughs> and I get that that's part of it, but <gasps> online co-op. Oh, we should play this game soon. What is it? It's called Baladins. Embark on a whimsical journey and bring joy to a bright fantasy world in this role-playing adventure for one to four players. Craft your own story and solve quests however you like. But beware, for every time you fail, the, fail, the dragon will send you back in time. It's a choose-your-own-adventure co-op RPG online. Oh. You can play with four people. It looks so cute. I'm looking at Crow Country right now. I'm gonna add this to my wish list. I'll keep an eye on it. Crow Maybe. Country looks cool. Doesn't it look cool? Like yeah, the style. Do you see what I mean? How it looks like Final Fantasy VII? It does. No, it's definitely got that. It, it's like it's almost like a Silent Hill, but with like Final Fantasy VII graphics. Yeah, the sprites look like that. Like the <laughs> yeah. It's got great reviews, so I'm like, oh, I wonder if yeah, it's, no, it looks, came out, cool. oh, very recently, so I'm wondering very if it's going to be kind of a cult classic. It's got the sniffings of a cult classic on it. But... Nightmare Cart is coming out on May 31st. Nightmare Cart? It's, uh, it was originally called Bloodborne Cart. It was like a... <laughs> See how that didn't work like... out? It's like a PS. Well, that's the thing is that <laughs> th this was in development for for forever, and Sony just contacted them and was like, "You can't do this." Oh, that that's like uh, that's like what happened to that Pray for the Gods game. It was like in yeah. development forever, and then they were like, "You can't." It's like Pray, yep. and they're like, "What?" Yep. That sucks. Yeah, Bloodborne PSX. They were fine with. They were fine with that, and then one list is like Nightmare Cart, and they're like, no, no, no. Bloodborne Cart was the issue. Yeah, I know, right? So now it's called Nightmare Cart. It's coming out at the end of the month. Nightmare Cart. Nightmare Cart. Look this I've been following the development. It looks hilarious. <laughs> Nightmare Cart. Okay. Yeah, there's footage on the page, but it's like it's like a PlayStation 1 style graphic. Whoa. Uh, it's a racing game? Yeah, oh, it's cart, like, it's like, like Mario, Mario Kart. Kart. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Why does it say it's free? Oh, because it's not yet available. Yeah, it's not out yet. Zoom through gothic streets in this horror-themed vehicular combat racing game. The creator is trans. Really? Yep. Good for them. Yep. Slaughter spree. That looks pretty. But yeah, it, it looks it looks great. <laughs> they had to change everything just enough, though, to not make it Bloodborne anymore. <laughs> the only other person on my wish list who has, or on my friends list who has this on their wish list is Kika. Not surprised. That makes sense. Not surprised. <laughs> okay, anyway, sorry, I got distracted. Uh... Wait, oh, the multiplayer it. for Cassette Beasts is coming out uh, Monday. Oh. Oh. oh, wait, 
think there's a devolver sale. Hold on, hold on. Oh, there's a devolver sale? Uh-huh. They're having a 15th anniversary publisher sale. Oh. You can get the Talos principle, too, for $18. I played Talos principle 1. I liked it well enough, and then I tried playing 2, and I was like, eh. I don't know. I, I, I got really frustrated at 1 a lot. So I think I was just like, oh, I don't want to play it too much. That's fair. Seeing this, though, reminds me of how many of these I already have. Oh, this game is only $1.99 minute, if it was one you were ever looking at. Minute. Any York Peppermint Patty enjoys in chat? Um, I'll eat a half of one, and that's enough. Hotline Miami two for two dollars and twenty four cents. They're too they're too strong. What are your thoughts on York Peppermint Patties, Cass? Yeah. Ugh. I don't really like mint as a candy. I yucky. Love uh like uh I think it's just the fact that it's soft and it's way too strong, but I love like yeah. lifesavers. Like mint, not me. Savers, like winter green, they're fucking awesome. No, those remind me of throwing up. They're um, York is just like it's way too strong. I don't and it's like the fact it... that it's soft and it's like ugh. I don't like that. Yeah, gooey. Yeah, it is I want... gooey. Mm, I prefer. Wait, is the York the gooey soft one or is it the? Oh, it the clo... it, okay. I was thinking of a thin mint. I like thin mints. Well, Thin Mints, yeah, those are cool. <laughs> I do like those. Oh my God, I well, who doesn't? It's like it, uh, someone uh, probably Girl doesn't. Scout. Oh, this Devolver um, art that they made for this is really cute. It is really cute. There's a lot of so, good stuff on sale. Is there. Pepper Grinder is supposed to be pretty. I watched a trailer for that. It looks... Volvi is the pinata. <laughs> this is great. This is a great image. Oh, the Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood. That's one I played the demo of. That one was fun. Dang. God, Devolver is without a doubt one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah they publish. It's just so many they, good games. They're, they're clearly... They have a type when it comes to games. They clearly um, kind of vet the games that they decide to publish for sure. Yeah, it's bangers yeah uh, okay Let me... angerfoot isn't out yet but angerfoot looks hysterical angerfoot yeah it's a lot of kicking a lot of kicking <laughs> oh i like that um all right so welcome back everyone to stray gods oh it's already working wait it's Stray Gods. I was actually uh, I was cleaning up this morning. I was like, it's my time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like stuck in my head. Fuck, fucking guy. What you say? All right. I guess Sludge Life 2 is on sale. I know. I got to go back and finish Sludge Life 1. That's going to be one that I play probably like when I'm talking to people and just yeah, hanging exactly. out. Like, because it's not super intensive, involved brain intensive yeah oh yeah we're at the bar all right we're at the bar at the straight pride parade why did that get filtered straight pride was filtered out good <laughs> oh that's really funny i let it through ah uh, that's really really funny <laughs> I do like that gay people saved my life went straight through as it should and then straight pride yeah. it was like mm, I don't know about straight this one straight pride I like twitch nose twitch nose <laughs> um okay uh, we'll talk to Apollo I want to know who did the art for this? for this no for the devolver sale stuff oh i don't know it was me <laughs> i'm secretly an incredible artist I thought this would be easier 
but it's as if Persephone left instructions to thwart me. Every staff member I approach screams and runs off. I hope you're still here. More successful. <laughs> yeah, I'm sharing with you. Paul? Oh. Paul's Oh, no, <laughs> they're talking to me. I was like, yes. no. <laughs> I was like, where would I have gone? Him. Yeah, I'm because so he went. He was like, you go that way. I'll go this way, and oh, we'll see if we can okay. find her. Yeah, wasn't sure. Yeah, Rolf just goes. Oh, there's a game. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't just yap and yap and yap and look at Steam. Mostly we do that though. Also, I'm glad we're doing this because do you remember last night when I was like, I'm going to study up on some Who's Lila endings and make sure we don't get stuck? You didn't do it, did you? Yeah, I didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> and I only realized it about 30 minutes ago. No. Uh... Like right before you showed up in the chat, I was like, oops. You're like, I don't know what we're doing <laughs> yeah. in this game. Yeah, that game. What a... What a game that Esoteric. is. Esoteric. Esoteric That's game, a word but for it. I like it, cool, though. I really want to see yeah, what happens. It is really cool, but it's just, like, a lot of confusing shit. Yeah. Okay, play the game. Okay. You don't come here often, I'm guessing? Never. I'm sure Persephone only sent the membership as a formality. Here it is, the, the Troy Baker, Laura Bailey it. game. Don't you ever have fun? <laughs> no drinking or dancing in Apollo land? Once. That was a long when silence. I had yeah, it was. To keep me company. No, I'm not hitting I'll on keep him. You company. No. Little you know, fun doesn't <laughs> no? just happen. No. It's okay. You know what? Beat yourself up. Is this a dating game, time. technically? I don't know, but if it is, I, know, I don't want him to be the come. only one I have sex Live with. Yeah. What a shame that would be with all the choices. Yeah. <laughs> Thank I pick like gracious. the himbo who doesn't wear a shirt. God, kill me. Like there's like beautiful the fucking gays block. everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we can get a god polycule, but I'm scared because what if I like hit on him and then I hit on someone I really actually like and then Okay, he you can gets... romance everyone in one playthrough, Katie says. Oh, you can. Confirmed. Like, at the same time? You can... No one wants to romance Apollo, Katie. That's I've why. never seen anyone romance <laughs> That's so funny! <laughs> uh, oh, gotta man. catch them all. That's uh, really funny. <laughs> is it because I mean, he looks like 80s era Kurt Russell? Is it's that probably why? because of the clientele that's playing this kind of game. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's mostly the gays. And mostly... Well, I mean, I guess if you're a, a dude, you might be into that. Uh, and you wouldn't go for Pan? I know, sad. yeah. He's clearly the bigger. No, it's because why would anyone in the world look at Grace and think she'd go, she's going for a dude? Yeah, I know. that It feels wrong. Yeah, it does feel <laughs> a little... A little she's... Uh, She's betrayal pretty... to to make Grace uh, straight. Well, yeah, not like she's straight like, necessarily, but into men. That she's like not obviously queer coded. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> she's like, hee hee, look at you, surfer boy. Hee hee, Ooh, you can hang out with me. Boys, boys. boys. No. I have it to delete that image of the burger Persephone. because it's making me fucking Did hungry. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, what it's gone now. Exactly. Uh, what's Persephone's story? What's Persephone's story? Her name rings a bell, but I don't... No doubt you've heard the tale of how Hades, lord of the underworld, kidnapped a young sweet goddess and made her his wife. <laughs> that sweet young goddess was... Persephone. Mm -hmm. Her mother, Demeter, was so enraged she blanketed the world in ice, rendering it barren and infertile. Zeus was forced to act. He decreed that Persephone would be shared between Demeter and Hades, and thus the I matter was I said Demeter, but Demeter's well, probably correct. That's her story, as the mortals tell it. Believe me, as a Percy Jackson fan, uh, I didn't know how to pronounce any of these motherfuckers' names <laughs> until much later. I went through a big Greek, uh, Greek, uh, Everyone Greek did. fan. Yeah. Everyone <laughs> Everyone did. goes through it. Well... And, and, okay. and tell you what, Everyone the Percy that's Jackson not... shit did not help, because people loved Percy Jackson. 
Is Percy Jackson Greek mythology? Oh, based? yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I never read any of that. And then not even that, not even that, but the sequel series, Gods of Olympus, you get into Roman gods, too. Mm. And it's like a crossover between the two. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. I never. I don't know if my sister read those or not, but. They're fucking cool. They're yeah. cool. But they are like, you know, young kid books. Not young kids. They're young like adult readers. Tween so. books. Yeah. I think that missed. When people. When I was a tween, I was reading like um, Francesca Leah Block. I was a teenage fairy. That was like my jam back then. <laughs> mm -hmm. it was, yeah. No one reads that anymore, I don't think. All right. So tell me, how much of Persephone's legend is true? Well, let's see. Um, Hades did kidnap Persephone. That certainly did happen. The idols almost went to war over it until Zeus intervened and ordered Hades and Persephone to wed. That uh, quieted things. I want to know if you can romance her friend. I hope so. Can you? I want you to. I you know. Can. can I mean, that's the obvious choice here, that they end up together. Right? Wifey. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. Whoa. As I understand it, Hades was not kind to her. I'd like to say we handled it well. That Zeus and the idols were mindful of what Persephone had been through, but that would be a lie. Persephone was punished for the murder. The underworld taken from her. And we all stood by and let it happen. She has never forgiven us. And honestly, I can't blame her. What happened? Huh? She killed uh, Hades. That that can happen? Uh, I mean, the what's-her-face? It was a god and she died. Gods die. Yeah. Just, uh, Hades is important. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The idols. Have the idols changed much, you think, since those days? Well, you know the saying, the more things change, the more they stay the same. I thought she was just mad at me, but everyone seems afraid of Persephone. Uh, noticed that, did you? Persephone is angry with everyone and has been for a very long time. I've told you why. But it's more than that. She does not let go of a grudge. A thousand years could pass, and Persephone will. So where does Zagreus fit like into all this? Yesterday. <laughs> Zagreus, like from Hades. Yeah. Is Zagreus a real character in mythology, or is he just in the I game? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't I know just, that for real. It was sure. just a joke. It was just a joke. No. I... Um. Yeah, he is. Oh, he's there. OC. He's real, but it, I'll tell you one thing. If you type in Zagreus, who do you think pops up first? <laughs> it's it's all images from Hades, the game. But he's real. Real in mythology? Well, yeah. Is he? Yep. He's got a Wikipedia page. And then down all the way at the bottom, it says, In popular culture, Zagreus is the protagonist of the 2020 video game Hades. Oh. Huh. That's oh. right. Persephone's is his mom. I forgot. Persephone is Zagreus's mom? Yeah. Oh. Mama. Persephone murdered yeah. an idol? Wait. Persephone killed another idol. Oh, long time ago, yeah. What about all of Athena's rules? Wouldn't Persephone have been, I don't know, executed? The murder of Hades is probably why we now have that rule. Back then, we heard Persephone had usurped Hades' throne, but we couldn't believe it. It just wasn't done. Now, of course, I look back and think we should have seen it coming. Oh, the benefit of hindsight. Why didn't you see it coming? You're the god of prophecy. Right, that's this whole thing. <laughs> I learned long ago not to. So what happened to Persephone after... The murder? She survived, like the rest of us. She got older, and when we came to the new world, I think she would have left us if it was allowed. It isn't. 
So instead, she did as she pleased. She started a cult, became oh a crime God. boss. Oh, uh, what? It was after her last transition, but honestly, <laughs> I have no insight into anything Persephone does these days. I'll get going. <clears throat> I still need to find Persephone. I'll keep trying as well. Okay. Man. Eros. Persephone's like a badass. <gasps> oh, here's the daddy. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> He's obviously a look at him. He's daddy as fuck. Come oh. on, man. Hey. You're the new muse, aren't you? Um, I guess I am, yeah. Aphrodite mentioned it. Didn't figure I'd see you here, though. By the way, he is the god of sex. That's oh, why he's dressed like excuse that. Excuse the manners. Oh, thank Name's you. Eros, yeah. God of sex. <laughs> oh, there you go. Wait, did you did you say that you're the, you're the god of sex? <laughs> <laughs> great, great line read. <laughs> Why? Were you expecting a chubby little flying baby with a bow and arrow? Uh, I, I wasn't. I actually preferred Cupid, but Pan had to be the trickster. Spread all those stupid stories. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why? It's not your fault. Just another grudge I get to carry around forever. Why is he so sad? Everyone's <laughs> so sad. You know Aphrodite, right? I only met her the once. <laughs> sure, she's my mother. You know how it is. How would I know? No here, remember? Oh, right, right. Yeah, sorry. I <laughs> wasn't thinking. But you'll hear a lot of idols talk about each other like that. You know, mother, brother, sister, grandfather. None of us are actually related. We just played a family for so many centuries. It may as well be true. <laughs> so, so Aphrodite is your mother, but not really. That's right. A long time ago, she took care Things of me. Things should be called sad gods. Sad gods. Mortals, they. <laughs> to be to fair, they're it. doing his face sadder his face? than he's reading well, the lines sometimes. It's not like that anymore. We're not as invulnerable as we used to be. Least of all, Aphrodite. The god of sex at a club. Looking for someone? Hmm. Once I might have, sure. Now I'm just here to see it happen. Ew. See what happened? Look out there. See all these people. The hope, the anticipation, the connections, they bounce off each other. <laughs> to me, it's like lightning. Uh, and you enjoy that? I used to make it happen, you know. Mortals once begged me to make it happen, to inspire true love. But now... Now I only inspire sex. Not the same thing. It's just as well. People should find true love the hard way. They'll value it more. You seem a little distracted. Is everything okay? <laughs> Fucking sad, bro. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> sure. Hmm, that obvious, huh? Truth is, I don't come here that often. It was hard to get away. I just want... Nope. Never mind. Uh. I'm willing to listen if you need to talk. I'm not helping you. You can that. pick your own choice. <laughs> some other time. Here's the thing. I'm looking for Persephone, but I can't find her anywhere. Hmm. Well, I know where she is, but I question whether she'd be happy to see you. She wouldn't. <laughs> I Most like people you. aren't. <laughs> but told me what happened at the chorus. I don't want to cause trouble with Persephone. She's that scary, huh? It's not that I'm scared of her. Well, maybe a little. You haven't been around long, but once you have, you'll learn that idle grudges are forever. I, I don't know Persephone well, but considering what I do know, I don't blame you. I know it's lousy, and I'm sorry. I hope I can make it up to you someday. I'll see you around. Count on it. 
sex. Sex. Daddy. Daddy. <gasps> Hermes. So cute. Whoa, you're here. I mean, you gotta be somewhere, but you're here. Hello, Hermes. <laughs> sorry Hermes about writing off sad on you like back everyone at the else. Thing. Right? Didn't really have a choice. Hermes did it. Ah, sorry, anyway. <laughs> That'd be so sad. You're not much like the other idols, are you? No? I haven't been an idol very long. Hey, dude, Maybe I mean, like they. A year? <laughs> yo, yo. So, I'm not the one to ask about the idol stuff. It's all cool, but mostly I do whatever Athena asks. Athena says, one day I'll sit on the chorus. <laughs> That'll be sick. Can you imagine me in charge? <laughs> Wouldn't Athena still be in charge? Yeah, you're probably right. That doesn't bother you? Why would it? Athena's the nicest of the bunch. She makes the best cookies. When Calliope died, you were right there. Yeah, Within that's moments. the part that's suspicious to know? me. Yeah. I told you. I got word, so I came. <laughs> but how did you get word? Look, when an idol dies, I have to be there. So I just know. It's a Hermes thing. But why do you need to be there? To take them where they need to go. To take who? Calliope? Kinda? Look, it's between the old Hermes and me, and between me and the next Hermes. That's all I can say. You've only been an idol for a year? How did that happen? Mm, probably the same way it did with you. Oh, the old Hermes died in your arms and then they accused you of his murder? No. Well, yes. I mean, no, not like that. But yeah. <laughs> I was there when he died. We were friends, and I was having trouble at home, and he helped me out. I miss him. Can I ask how he died? Uh, he didn't want to be here anymore. You mean... I'd huh? rather not talk about it. Oh. I'm him now. <sighs> it's all good. Vickers. This is probably a stupid question, but... Do you know who might have killed Calliope? Oh, why would I know anything about that? When you came to... to the apartment... It seemed like you knew her. Oh no, I only you met really her said, once. Did, does she that mean Grace is the, the new Calliope? Or hang out with us very yes. Much? Yeah, yeah I guess, though? yeah. Angry, maybe. But I don't know who'd want to hurt her. Because they're calling her an idol, so... Right, yeah. You don't seem that sad about it. Not like Apollo. <laughs> He's sad about everything. As for me, I don't know. Part of her is in you now, right? That's how I see it. Do you know if Persephone is here? I need to talk to her. <laughs> Probably, Melly. Oh, you're serious. <laughs> Why would you want to talk to Persephone? Nobody ever wants that. One time? I laughed too loud near her, and she threatened to ban me from the club. I don't want to be banned. I like it here. Pull yourself together. Ooh. Are you going to let Persephone boss you around forever? Um, maybe? <laughs> no, you do that, she'll be walking all over you for centuries. You're a god. Yeah, I'm a god. You never know, she might be impressed, right? Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, let me know when you want to find her. I'll even stand way, way back while you chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we talked to Persephone. I'm gonna make her my wife. If you're angry with anyone, Persephone, be angry with me. It was I who... I will deal with you later. I was willing to leave you be, Grace. To wait until your guilt was certain. Yet here you are, in my domain. Uninvited. Why? Are you here to <laughs> beg for mercy? No. Are you here to challenge me? Should I be afraid? Do you wanna fuck? <laughs> <laughs> This isn't a challenge, Persephone. I have questions. She's so tall. Questions for me. She's a big lady. Good. 
Because I have questions for you. Do you really expect us to believe that Calliope chose you? What's the real story? Did you stumble across her as she lay dying and desperate? Are you an accident? Did you learn what she was? Did you torture her, hold her at the point of death until she agreed to hand over her Eidolon? Persephone, this isn't... You have every reason to try to prove your innocence, Grace. But I have no reason to help you. Oh. Huh? What happened? Uh, hello? See hello? you? Hello? You got disconnected from Discord for a second. I heard blue blue. Yeah, you gotta reshare your game. That was weird. Yeah, I don't know what just happened, but I you, like you got disconnected from the call. That was weird. Are you still live? Yeah. I think. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't my internet. I think it was Discord. Huh. All right. Calliope lived at your you apartment. Knew Calliope. We all knew Calliope. She was staying at your apartment. You knew her. Better than I or anyone else suspected. Are you implying that I had something to do with her death? Prove you didn't. Maybe. That's how idols work, isn't it? Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, are we singing though? Uh oh. Uh -oh. Ooh, girl, we're doing a sing off. <laughs> you hear that? You're in my house, little muse. You want answers? Fight for them. Here we go. Get it, get it. A lost little girl. You shouldn't have come here. And I sure ain't in the mood to make new friends. Sing it, girl. Oh, girl. Saxophone. The shadows draw near. And you all alone, we both know how this ends. You'll never see it coming. Let's see how far she bends. We all know how this ends. Holy shit. Yo, go off like yeah. that. <laughs> I wasn't sure if Persephone was wearing lifts or anything, but no, she's just wearing fucking flats. Like, she's tall. Got it. Don't you have any idea what you're dealing with, child? Surprise, surprise. Coins on your eyes. Give them to the fairy man. Get it in your little head. You're spitting at the Back off, little girl. We're young, you're old, we live, you're asking for 
Go for the kill. You dress weird. That's your biggest mistake for Calliope's sake. Try and mix it up. Yo, watch such Bob as usual. <laughs> 